Hi guys, my name is Giri and welcome to my channel. Today we are trying out the Anastasia Beverly Hills Riviera palette. Uh, it looks like this, comes in a cardboard box and when you open it up you slide the palette out like this. This is nice and shiny canvas textured and when you open it up stuff is going to fall out here. You have like a little plastic insert right here. We are taking that out right now and you also have your little brush in here. So today we are going to uh, create a neutral kind of look using mostly these colors down here. Maybe this one and also this one towards the end here. Uh, and then later on, I'll be creating a more colorful look. The palette also have a nice big mirror, which is super convenient when you're uh, doing your looks. So to start out, I'm going to pick up this lightest color, color right here. It's called Estate. And I'm using the brush that came in the palette and just like carefully dipping into the product. And we're starting by placing this color all the way in our crease and up towards the brow. And I'm using windshield wiper motions and also circular motions to blend this color in. And so my first thought is that I think this brush that came in this palette is a little bit stiffer than the uh, the brushes that look the same that comes in the other palettes I have. And that creates quite a lot of kick up and pan. I don't yeah, you can see that. So when I dip my brush in, even though I'm just dipping it, it kicks up, it creates quite a lot of kick up and pan. But it doesn't have any fallout on the eye, so that's fine. Next I'm picking up this slightly darker color called Coastline and I'm placing this in my crease only and also uh, I'm also going to place this on my inner third of my eye. Or actually inner half. These colors, these colors blend out beautifully and so easy to uh, build up as well. Next, I'll be picking up this pink shade here called Monte Carlo and I'm placing this on the center of my lid, blending it into this first color that I have closer to my inner corner. Then, last but not least, I'm picking up this darkest color called Palm and I'm using this on the outer corner of my eye. And I'm also going to Pick this, bring this up a, a little bit to 
towards my brow and kind of outwards a little bit as well. And I'm still using that same brush, which I think I've talked about this before, but I think that works fine as long as you go from a lighter color to a darker color. As some of you know, my puppy has her foot so or her leg, so uh, she can't really go for long walks these days. So she's a, a little bit frustrated from being inside all the time and it's her that's kind of coming in and making all those rattling noises. <laughs> like so this last color was actually a little hard to blend. Uh, so I'm going to go back in to the Monte Carlo. That was the pink shade that we used and go over kind of in the center and making all the edges look a little nicer. This is actually helping a lot, I think. Then I'm just picking up a powder brush just to brush away any fallout that I might have had from that palm shade. Then I'm turning around and using the other side of the brush, picking up this light kind of salmon color called coastline and I'm dipping into the shadow and I'm placing this all the way on my lower lash line and making sure to connect it to the shades that I have in the outer corner. And I'm bringing this quite far down as I find that looks a lot better when wearing mascara. Then I'm picking up the color Monte Carlo on that same brush and I'm closing this, placing this closer to the lash line and I'm going all the way under my eye with this. Oh, sorry. I'm going all the way under my eye with this color. And also just blending out the edges a little bit of that coastline color. And then to highlight my brow bone and my inner corner, I'm picking up this new Anastasia Beverly Hills Loose Metallic Powder Highlighter. And this is in the color... And this is in the color Snowflake, it's the lightest color. Opens up like this and it has a little plastic insert thingy that I need to pick out. I'm tapping some of this highlighter into the lid. And then I'm picking up a small shader brush from, small shader brush from Too Faced. And I'm placing this in my inner corner. And also a little bit on my brow bone. This is a very nice highlighter. It's perfect for this area right here. And then with this on, I'm going to uh, to put on my mascara and do the rest of my face and I'll be back with some final thoughts on the palette so far. So this is the full face with mascara. 
I'm so sorry about all the noise in the background, that's just my dog, she's hurt her leg so she can't be out as much as she would like to these days, so she's like super frustrated, super frustrated, just like pretend you can't hear it. Anyways, back to my thoughts on this palette. Uh, so far I've only used some of the shades on the bottom row, I've used this one, this one, this one, and this one. And aside from this darkest one called Palm, I haven't had any problems with these shades. Most of them look super nice, are pigmented, blend out like a dream, super easy to put on. Uh, I would say there's a plethora of looks that you can create using this palette. Uh, and as I said before, I will get back and doing a more kind of colorful or crazy look as well before I con I come to my like conclusion on this palette. But so far I really like it. I think it's super pretty. I love these colors. I mean, come on, how pretty is this? Uh, so yeah, I think I'll have to go and entertain my dog. So that's all for today. I hope you like this look as much as I did. If you did, please leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions, any wishes for future looks, any products you want me to try out or anything else at all, just leave them in the comments down below. Thank you for watching, take care and bye!